Hey guys, it's Rourke Cooper's, and welcome to the review for episode 7 of season 6 of My Old Pony Friendship is Magic, the episode entitled Newbie Dash. Dash, the episode where Rainbow Dash finally achieved her goal of becoming a Wonderbolt. So yeah, what was this episode like? Not gonna lie, I was really not, I was really disliking it. You know, it started off great, you know, it started off with, uh, Rainbow, Skulu and Rainbow Dash having a nice little chat, then Spitfire came in. I was really hoping that Hasbro might have it be Sworn who tells Rainbow Dash that she's becoming vulnerable, but no Spit, they had Spitfire do it because reasons. I guess, you know, she is the captain, so as kind of it would be her job. But, I mean, she could pawn it off on someone else. Most captains do that as well. It's just disappointing. Disappointing. Um, but, yeah, Spitfire says we need to define the show. You're a Wonder Woman now, pretty much. And, yeah. So, who Spitfire as... She started off this episode good, but it was only downhill from here because any other time we saw her until pretty much like the last scene she was in, she went from Spitfire to Bitchfire because she was an utter bitch. Now, I understand, you know, breaking in the new recruit. You know, obviously, you're the superior officer. They're they're new. You have to teach them the way. He's. I get. I get. You know. I get being a bit. You know. You know. Making them make Rainbow understand that you're in charge. She has to listen to you. I'm cool with that. But Spitfire took it way too. Far. Now, what happens later in the episode, pretty much, you know, it, it saved her character, really, because I, I was on the brink of, 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 I was, I was actually considering stopping, just stop watching the episode and just not review it at all, but I was like, no, I'm going to review it, I'm going to watch the whole episode, I'm going to review the whole episode. So, After her having a little, after doing some packing, and of what well, I'm not really sure, looked like clothes, but I don't know. I don't know what she would have to bring with her. Uh, but yeah, she, after or she packed and had a little conversation with the our main six members and Spike. Who was there for some reason? Why I cannot figure out why. Um, but yeah. Now after that, Ed Rainbow went to the Wonderbolt. Old. Old. Old's uh, main base, and she met up with Spiff. Her. And Spitfire is showing her around. Also, he's he, he talked about how Rainbow was used to the Academy, and the base is different to the Academy. He but Rainbow is obviously. I heard she still remembers the stuff she learned in testing testing one two three, or or maybe she re he learned it. She seems to still be up to date on her Wonder Ball history, and, and I kind of get the I kind of got the feeling that Spitfire was just like, "Yo, don't show off, off that you know all this stuff, of okay? It's cool that you know." She didn't say it is, but you know the look on her face just you know kind of sent that signal to me. I don't know if anyone else got that, but that's. Just, just what I read from her. Maybe I read her wrong. 
But yeah, uh, you could just tell Spitfire was not, didn't really care that Rainbow knew these facts. X, X, and uh, as Rainbow was about to cross over to who, the main base he's building, and Spitfire grabs her tail and, and says, is, hey, what are you doing? You have to remember the first rule is to look both ways before you cross. Now, I'm all for teaching kids a lesson through this show. And, granted, there's no cars in Equestria, so you can't really teach them to, to look both ways before they cross the road. So, this is kind of how they're going to shoehorn that little lesson in. Hmm? You know, that's one of the first lessons parents teach their children, Hasbro. Oh, how old do you think your audience is? Is? They're not... Two? Who? Seriously, as soon as the kids learn to walk on their own, a, a, t a parent will teach the kid that they have to look both ways before crossing a road. Hold. Well, as soon as they walk walking on their own, that's one of the first things a parent teaches their child. So, oh, really, there is no reason to shoehorn this in. But Spitfire mentioned that she could easily get hit by one of the air wonder Also, if she's not careful, because they like to make flashy entrances. Is, is, and we actually see this later when Rainbow is crossing, and again, as she is. Fleet Foot and Soren coming out of freaking nowhere or causing Rainbow to get across, you know, dash across, pun not intended, but pretty much, you know, she flew across not not as fast as she could, but, you know, fast enough so she wouldn't get hit. And for comedic effect, she crashes into a, a garbage can, even though in no other episode out in MLP have we seen a garbage can. So, yeah, Hasbro. Oh, I didn't laugh. I didn't fucking laugh because it isn't fucking funny. Seriously, they, they must think we are so fucking dumb that we will laugh at the smallest little thing. No, we're not going to laugh at that. Anyone who laughs at that should get their fucking head checked. And after this, it begins. All the Wonderbolts start calling Rainbow, Rainbow Crash. And um, I'm like, no. No, 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 no. Newbie Dash would be even better. Please stick to Newbie Dash. If the title is called Newbie Dash. Yes, please let that be the nickname. Don't let it be Rainbow Crash, but it is. It's Rainbow Crash. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? So, pretty much, the Wonderbolts have become those two fuckers from mm, back in the Sonic Rainbow episode. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Hasbro, this is a fucking joke. This is a fucking... It's a fucking joke. This was stupid and pointless. And I'll get to who, what happened at the end of the episode, but every time they called Rainbow Rainbow Crash, you were comparing to random ponies we've never even seen again, except in flashbacks, next, to the Wonderbolts, who you, who at least, who you shown pretty much at least once, and a season, I think. Hang on, let me think. Pretty much once a season, ever since they, they first debuted. So, so, the one about's calling Rainbow Rainbow Crash. I didn't like it. But what we did see in this episode is that Rainbow showed off more of her main six mimicking powers. And she mimicked Fluttershy, Rick, Pinkie Pie. Seriously, she's 
The only one she hasn't mimicked at some point is Applejack. And she probably has mimicked Applejack, and I just don't remember it off the top of my head. Leave in the comment section below if she has mimicked Applejack, and if I just don't remember it. I also leave what episode. Quote, if she has. No. Because obviously, he, he, she mimicked Twilight in the episode of Griffin. The uh, Kingdom of Griffinstone. Wait, is that what was that episode called? The Lost Treasure of Griffinstone or something like that? The Griffin episode from last season. Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> so, that was pretty cool. And we got one particular scene, and this is when Rainbow actually mimicked Rarity, and you were here, she was kind of like. Flurrying with Soren, which was great. It was improving the episode, and then Spitfire just. <clears throat> you were going so well, and then Spitfire just had to. I mean, I don't even understand why she ruined that. It was just a harmless conversation. A harmless conversation. And Hasbro. You're gonna drive me up the wall. Oh. <clears throat> and when I first read the synopsis for this episode, I was hoping that Sorn would be he you know, the the Wonderbolt who says, Okay, hey, stop with this name calling, stop with this. I thought he'd be the one to stand up for her, but no, he was joining in! He was joining in! The fuck has, bro? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? That was bullshit. A lot of things in this episode were bullshit. So... A few more, uh... Crashes lead to Rainbow being called Rainbow Crash more on the day of the uh, performance. Rainbow who tries to pull off an amazing trick with Skulu's help, oh, which was great to see. He her and Rainbow have a moment outside of of Sleepless and Ponyville and. The uh, Crusaders of the Lost Mark. Like, those are the only real two times they've. Like, this is probably the best episode that has focused on Rainbow Dash that included Skulu. Who? Who? Probably more so. She probably did more with Rainbow Dash in this episode than she did in Sleepless and Ponyville. Why not? Why not? Um, yeah. At the end, after Raymond Ash has been patched up after her another fantastic crash, Raymond who says to all the Wonder Both that she's sorry, she shouldn't have been showing off, off, and that she ruined, she kind of ruined their routine, and she deserves whatever punishment. And she's she was gonna get it's and basically then the Wonder Molds all revealed the fact that they all have embarrassing nicknames. We also learned that the event what happens sworn in in a in a Rainbow Falls in the episode Rainbow Falls when he clipped his wing on the uh, hoop. That's not the first time that's happened. Apparently, he, on his first day, he clipped his wing on a flagpole. Well, and that's how he got his nickname. So, am I, am I the only one noticing a pattern here, Soren? Keep doing that. Stop doing that. But yeah, basically, this, the one the bolts. All the time they were just having a little bit of fun. And. And uh. No. No. 
that doesn't that doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it right. And well, it did it did save the episode because for this this episode was gonna get a bad review. I'm not gonna lie, this saved the episode, but not enough. Not enough. This episode is five out of ten. I was expecting it to do better. I was hoping it would do better, but it's five out of ten, and I'm being generous. I am being generous. It's enough for that last part. It would probably have gotten a one, a one. At one point, I was gonna give it negative, if marks. So, the fact that I'm giving it five, I am really being generous. So yeah, hate it, absolutely hate it. Hit, and right now, I'm hoping they never do another episode. Oh. That shows Rainbow Dash being part of the Wonder Bolt. I really hope so. I really hope that's not the case because, as, as someone who, in my school, when I was in school, I was bullied a lot, and it's not funny. It's not fucking funny to be bullied, Hasbro. And pretty much, you had the Wonder Bolt bully Rainbow Dash, and you think that's funny. 5 out of 10, I am being fucking generous. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, smash the like button if you did, subscribe for more very, very soon. Let me know what you thought of, of Newbie Dash in the comments, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.